a rich tourist and holiday destination. Thousands throng this region, especially during national holidays like the coming Easter holiday. Many use public transportation, lifts, or enjoy visiting night joints that are crowded. Some not well ventilated, but unknown to some, or maybe even deliberately ignored by others. This could be a hotspot for TB infection. Last year we had about 11,600. This year we have 11,700. And like other parts of the country where the TB prevalence is now decreasing, cost is still increasing. About midday, and six out of the ten intravenous drug users, IDUs, HIV and TB patients have not yet turned up for their treatment here at the Outreach Trust Center that caters for IDUs. It is challenging when we go to the field because they are not uh, uh, in one place. They move from one area to another because of looking for the drug. So Khalid, one of the counselors, has to literally go around and look for them. From entertainment joints to passenger service vehicles and even on the streets of Mombasa. You may never know who has TB, the silent killer. We accompany him on one of the rounds. After our first stop, it becomes clear that this particular search is fruitless, just as the case has been on many other days. But all was not lost though. We get to meet Riziki, not her real name. Mimi ni mtumiaji wa miadarati kwa njia ya kujidunga. Na hapa nilikosea kwa batimbaya, nikakosa mshipa. Sasa imekuwa ni miss out. I'm an HIV victim. Outside this residential house, she's been using the life-threatening drugs for four years now. Khalid knows a spot here at the marketplace that many injecting drug users hide. The six are not here, but we find Aaron, a heroin user and an MDR TB survivor. <laughs> Someone doesn't have food, their nutrition is low, their CD4 count is down, they are supposed to use the TB medication, they don't have food, so they are on drugs. So that the way forward is to the community to accept us and also the government hospitals. This is a problem that may be around for some time. According to Nakada, the increasing substance abuse must be declared a national disaster. Sharing of needles increases the rate of infection of HIV, not just among drug users but in the general population as well. TB infection rates remain high amongst this group due to co-infection with HIV and living in crowded places. We are scared because of the, the MDR, multi-drug resistance. That is where now we've been able, like uh, one of them, to, to get more tests. We've sent the test to the Coast General Hospital to know for sure if it is that way or not. But until such loopholes that allow some to skip treatment are addressed, the responsibility of tackling TB infection will also depend very much on public support. Some of the signs and symptoms to look out for TB are if you have a persistent cough, fever and sweat a lot at night, loss of weight, presence of blood in sputum or coughing blood, or if one of your body parts is affected, such as a, a swollen gland, visit the nearest health center for diagnosis. Treating TB has more economic value than leaving TB alone. It has been demonstrated by several studies. It is something that we need to, to do much more aggressively and put much more resources so that we can mop up this. To prevent TB, always cover your mouth when coughing, sneezing or laughing. Carefully dispose of used tissues in a sealed plastic bag. Open windows when possible to ensure proper ventilation. Complete the entire course of TB medication. <laughs> For Sunday Live, I'm Violet Otindo.